वेलकम स्टूडेंट टूडे आई सल डिसकस अबाउट द टॉपिक ऑफ जनरल टोपोलॉजी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज टोपोलॉजी दैट मींस व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ टोपोलॉजी टोपोलॉजी इज नथिंग बट ए कंपोजिशन ऑफ टू ग्रीक वर्ड्स वन टोपोस दैट मींस सरफेस एंड अनदर लोगोस दैट मींस स्टडी सो बेसिकली टोपोलॉजी इज नथिंग बट ए स्टडी ऑफ सरफेस लेट डू दिस बिफोर गोइंग टू द डिस्कशन ऑफ टोपोलॉजी वी फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ए पावर सेट Let X be a non-empty set. Then the family P X of all subset of X is called the power set of X. For example, if X is equal to A B C, that means a set consists of three elements. Then its power set is phi singleton A B C and doubleton A B B C C A and X. Note that if X consists of n elements. then the power set consists of 2 to the power n elements if n is equal to natural number that means the set con con contain element of 1 2 3 and so on then the power set is obviously uncountable now we are going to the definition of topology let x be a non empty set and tau is a subset of power set of x tau is called topology if tau satisfies the following condition first condition phi belongs to tau second condition x belongs to tau third condition the union of any collection of subsets belongs to tau also belongs to tau and finally the intersection of any two subsets belongs to tau is also belongs to tau then tau is called a topology on x and the pair x comma tau is called a topological space now we introduce the definition of open set let x tau be a topological space then the member of tau are called the open sets in x for example let tau is equal to phi comma x then it is obvious that it is a topology and this topology is called trivial or indiscrete topology on x next if you choose tau is equal to power set of x then it is also forms a topology and proof is very simple so omitted uh, and this topology is called discrete topology on x next we uh, consider a set consist of three element that is abc and tau1 is equal to phi singleton a doubleton ab ac and x we easily show that tau1 is a topology on x and again tau2 is defined as phi singleton a doubleton bc and x then tau1 and tau2 forms two different topologies on x it is generally possible to define different topologies on any given set x and thereby obtain different topological space on the set x next we introduce a very important topology and that is called cofinite topology what is that let x be a infinite set and tau is equal to phi union all such a such that x minus a is a finite set then first condition is obviously satisfies because phi belongs to tau and condition 2 x minus x is equal to phi and phi is a subset of every finite set so x belongs to tau for the condition 3 let a alpha belongs to tau and alpha belongs to index set then all x minus a alpha is a finite set because a alpha belongs to tau if a alpha not equal to 0 not equal to phi then x minus a alpha is a finite set next let x minus set union alpha belongs to delta a alpha is equal to intersection alpha belongs to delta x minus a alpha it is elementary set property so proof is very simple and this is subset of x minus a alpha for every alpha because the right hand side is is a finite set so x minus union alpha belongs to delta a alpha is a finite set thus union alpha belongs to delta a alpha belongs to tau for the condition 4 let a1 a2 belongs to tau that means x minus a1 and x minus a2 both are finite sets so x minus x minus of a1 intersection a2 is equal to x minus a1 union x minus a2 
x minus a1 and x minus a2 both are finite set so their union is also finite set so that implies from the definition of uh, of the topology a1 intersection a2 belongs to tau this topology is called uh, cofinite topology uh, why it is cofinite because the set a belongs to tau that implies this complement must be finite next we go into the definition of comparison of two topologies let tau 1 tau 2 are two topologies on x then tau 1 is said to be weaker than tau 2 or, or tau 2 is stronger than tau 1 or tau 2 is finer than tau 1 if tau 1 is subset of tau 2 so in discrete topology is the weakest and discrete topology is the strongest topology on x and any other topology on x satisfies the relation in discrete topology is a subset of tau and that is subset of discrete topology. Now we state the first theorem. Theorem 1 intersection of two topologies on x is a topology on x. Proof is let tau 1 and tau 2 be two topologies on x and put tau is equal to tau 1 intersection tau 2. Clearly phi and x both sets belongs to tau because phi and x both belongs to tau 1 and phi and x both belongs to tau 2 also. So their intersection obviously belongs to tau. For the condition 3 let a alpha belongs to tau for all alpha belongs to delta where delta is a index set. Then union alpha belongs to delta a alpha belongs to tau 1 and union alpha belongs to delta a alpha belongs to tau 2 so union alpha belongs to delta a alpha belongs to tau 1 intersection tau 2 that means this is a common element so that is equal to tau so condition 3 satisfies for the condition 4 let a1 a2 belongs to tau then a1 union a2 belongs to tau 1 and a1 union a2 belongs to tau 2 because tau 1 and tau 2 both are topology on x that implies a1 union a2 belongs to tau that means intersection of two topology topologies on x is a topology on x theorem 1 is not true if the word intersection is replaced by the union from the following example we get the required result let us uh, choose the example let x is equal to uh, a b c that means a set consists of three elements and which we said tau 1 is equal to phi x singleton a doubleton a b and tau 2 is equal to phi x singleton c doubleton b c then it is obvious that tau 1 and tau 2 both are topologies on x again tau 1 union tau 2 is equal to phi x singleton a singleton c doubleton a b doubleton b c again singleton a singleton c belongs to tau and uh, and a and c are open set and their union is equal to ac but ac is not a member of the union tau 1 union tau 2 that implies union uh, that implies the union of two topologies may not be a topology on x next we introduce another very important definition of topology and that is called base or basis or open base let x tau be a topological space a family skipped B of member of tau is said to be a base or open base or basis of the topology tau if every member of tau is a union of some member of B. For example, let x be a non-empty set and tau is equal to just simply power set of x. Then the family of all we choose, choose the family of all singleton is a base of the discrete topology on x next we introduce under which condition a family or a subfamily a forms a base and theorem 4 and theorem 5 gives the required answer in a topological space x tau a subfamily b of tau is a base of tau if and only if every open set g in tau and any point p belongs to g there exists a member b capital b belongs to skip b such that p belongs to capital b and that capital b subset of g 
then the subfamily forms a base and theorem 5 gives a subfamily of subset of x forms a base for some topology on x if and only if b skewed b satisfies three conditions first condition phi belongs to skewed to b second condition x is a union of member of b third condition and that is the final condition give any two member of b1 and b2 in skewed b and p belongs to the intersection that means b1 intersection b2 then there exists a another member b3 belongs to skewed b such that p belongs to b3 and that b3 is a subset of b1 intersection b2 next we introduce an example the family of all open intervals along with phi forms a base for a topology on the set r that is the set of all real number known as usual or euclidean topology on r solution as let skewed b is equal to phi union all such open interval a b such that a b belongs to real number then condition one is obvious why condition one is obvious because phi belongs to skewed b and phi belongs to skewed b so condition one is obvious by the theorem phi from the condition two union n equal to 1 to infinity open interval minus n to n is equal to 1 so r can be expressed of express of union of member of skewed b so r can be union uh, express as union of member of skewed b for the condition 3 let b1 and b2 be two member of skewed b then b1 can be expressed as open interval a1 b1 and b2 can be expressed as open interval a2 b2 where a1 b1 a2 b2 all elements are belongs to real number so b1 intersection b2 is equal to there's nothing but the intersection of two open interval that is a1 b1 and intersection a2 b2 that is nothing but uh, maximum of a1 a2 and minimum of b1 b2 and maximum or minimum both are belongs to uh, real number because a1 b1 and a2 b2 all elements are belongs to real number from the diagram we get for the for the uh, diagram we get from the example um, maximum of a1 a2 is equal to uh, a1 because a1 and a2 a1 is less than a2 so maximum of a1 a2 is equal to a2 and minimum of b1 b2 is nothing but it is equal to b1 then from the picture we get b1 intersection b2 it is equal to just a2 comma b1 and a2 and b1 both are real number and that is a, it is a member of skewed b so then from the uh, theorem 5 we get the family skewed b forms a base for a topology on the set r next we introduce another theorem and uh, theorem 7 a uh, topology tau 1 with a base skewed b1 is stronger than the topology tau 2 with a base skewed b2 if and only if for any member small x belongs to capital x for x belongs to b2 belongs to skewed b2 there exists a member b1 belongs to skewed b1 such that x belongs to capital b1 and that capital b1 is a subset of capital b2 consider the example 8 the family of all open intervals like closed a open b that means left hand side is closed right hand side is open where a b belongs to real number a less than b along with phi forms a base for a topology is called the lower limit topology of r and it is stronger than usual topology of r solution is let skewed b is equal to phi union left closed right open a comma b where a b belongs to real number then condition one is obvious because phi belongs to real number phi because phi belongs to skewed b for the condition two union n equal to 1 to infinity left close minus n to n it is equal to real number so it is very simple putting n is equal to 1 so it is equal to minus 1 to 1 if n is equal to 2 so it is minus 2 to 2 and so on you get the whole real number r so r can be expressed as a union of member of b for the condition 3 let b1 b2 
be two member of script B. Then B1 can be expressed as left close A1 and right open B1 and B2 can be expressed as left close A2 right open B2 where A1, B1, A2, B2 belongs to real number. So B1 intersects and B2 is equal to that is nothing but it is equal to maximum of A1, A2 and minimum of B1, B2 and maximum of A1, A2 and minimum of B1, B2 all elements are belongs to real number. So maximum of A1, A2 and minimum of B1, B2 lies in R. So then from the theorem 5 you get we get the family skewed B forms a base for a topology on the set R. Now we prove the second part of the example. Let A B belongs to let A B be a open interval uh, as a base of member of usual topology and X belongs to the open interval A B. Then from the picture we, it is obvious that X lies in between A and B. So we get a uh, base member close left close X right open B as a lower limit lower limit such that small, uh, small x belongs to closed x comma b and that is subset of open or uh, subset of the open interval a b so theorem 7 applies the desired conclusion that means uh, the lower limit topology is the stronger topology than usual topology